stopped. Took her literally one time rolling over and learning how to lift up her one arm in order to do rolls. And now we are in this situation. She is outgrowing her baby nest and cannot be stopped. Tummy time has now turned into scooting time and I wouldn't even be surprised if the next couple months she's going to be crawling and she is four months old today. What? I thought I had more time. I'm so screwed. Oh lord, she just learned how to turn the turtle on and off. With all her scooting and uh understanding of these buttons, we should probably just call her Eche Bakji. Little turtle, instead. She's being pooped. She's supposed to go night. Oh my lord. Izzy Bo. Izzy Bo, you're supposed to be being night. Supposed to be taking a nap, you were so tired and grumpy. Do I need to take the turtle away? Is it distracting you from being a night? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, we won. Okay, baby. Okay, baby. Oh my goodness, you are so heavy. Okay, I know, but you need to be night. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you're flip-flopping all over the place, you silly girl. Can't be flip-flopping when I'm trying to hold you. Oh my goodness, you just cannot be stopped. You're so strong. Okay, mommy will turn on the sound. Okay. There we go. But you need to go back night night, okay? Sleepy baby. your head on the bars again. Stay in one spot, okay? Stay in one spot. Make mama incredibly nervous. Oh. Oh. I 
are we, are we just not there and do naps? Is that, is that what's happening? Mama needs a nap. I need a nap a little bit. We're drinking. We're drinking. Uh -huh. Lisa. Uh -huh. <laughs> Lizzie. Uh -huh. Lizzie Pucket.
think she was funny? She's so funny. Last time. And I know it's wrong with me. <laughs> but instead of changing how much I did, like the inventory, the quantity, I changed the price. You were laughing so, so hard at I her. You excited to see her on the TV? Yeah. You excited to see her? I saw not only cheaper, but <laughs> Yeah. Hi, you just did. Oh, goodness, big stretch. Let's get you out of that stretch. Hi. Hi. Let's get you out of swaddle. Oh, we got such big stretches from swaddles. Oh my goodness. Oh, stretch. I feel good. It feels so good to stretch. Oh, yeah. That's a good nap. Huh? That's a good nap. You want this? Mm. <laughs> Love you, baby. I Love you, baby. Yeah. <laughs> Hot off the purses, guys. It's going to be available this Monday on the shop. Oh, yeah. Can't wait.
Okay, guys, I'm gonna show you how to use my stickers. One in particular I'm gonna be using today is the papers and tapes. Now, you can use these with a variety of things. Um, excuse my baby monitor. Izzy's taking a nap. So, um, you can use them for junk journaling, for art journaling, um, bullet journaling, whatever you, um, scrapbooking, um, even art letters to friends, things like that. Um, I'm going to be using it for my, um, junk journal today, just because that's what I have on hand and what, um, basically goes well with, um, the theme of the papers and tapes. So this is a junk journal that I started, um, before I got pregnant and I had to pack everything away and, um, put most of my junk journaling stuff in the garage because I had to make room for baby and I had tons of stuff everywhere. So I haven't really looked through this for over a year now. Um, but from what I recall, this um, theme would be perfect for this. So I'm going to look through the pages and see, um, just piece these together and see where they go. Um, and just give you an idea of what you could, um, back this up a little bit so we can see a little bit better, what you could use it for, um, just so you can get some creative ideas. I know that sometimes that helps when purchasing art things. So if you would like me to give you a full tour of this junk journal, um, let me know. It is Neverland themed. Um, I painted the front of this cover and a lot of the stuff inside is 100% custom. Um, pretty much nothing is bought. Everything's been printed by me. Um, a lot of stuff was sourced from local antique shops as well. So let's see, let's see if I can find something that, here's a good blank page. We'll do this one. Let's see. Actually, I need more papers for that to go with it. It would become, if I know myself, it would turn into a huge custom project. <laughs> so I'm not going to do that. But here's something that I can add to. It's already pretty done. That way I don't start a whole art project and we're here for an hour. <laughs> so have this piece. And what I can do is just start collaging some of these stickers on top. These are all water resistant. So you could add probably several different types of glue and things to them. Let's see if I can use the mini washies. Now on these stickers as well, there's kind of a storyline on everyone that's different, um, handwritten by me. So if you look at them, you can tell that there's basically a story going on in each piece, like you would get from a book. That was really important to me. It's not just to put random words on there. Um, I know that's easier, and a lot of stuff like this has just random letters, but I'd like for people to look at the stickers and go, wait a second, I can tell this is from something else. And it kind of adds to a whole nother theme. Um, I don't know if that makes any sense, but that's what I was trying to accomplish. So add that to that. And then let's use the mini washi. 
these are so freaking cute guys if I do say so myself and I'll probably do this way let's see this one down and let's see actually I think I'm going to save these for another piece as well let's get this little square doodad let's see should I put it this way or this way how about this way all right so I don't know if you guys can see that well let me see let me look behind the camera real quick okay so it just adds a whole nother level to the depth of this piece just with the stickers and you can write on them or do whatever you want to them on top of them um that's their purpose I'll take out this envelope, this filler as well, and I'll decorate that with some of these. Let's see, the ABC probably would look good on here. Let's see, A, B, also like to see a video on junk journaling how you can sew edges um, how you can utilize materials that come in the mail this is from the inside of an envelope that um, came in the mail um, I am constantly using just regular stuff that you can find anywhere um, and adding to it with Holtz products and other things that you can find in a Joann's or a Michael's. Um, I use some of his um, Amphora packs. Um, and I, what I like to do, and here's a, a, a tip, print out your Amphora. <laughs> originals especially if they're vintage just put them through your scanner and print them out and you can either put them in Photoshop or other um, art um, apps and you can add to them change them there's some great filters and brushes to make them look burnt already if you don't want to do that yourself I burn these myself a lot of the stuff that I like to make look aged and burned so you definitely do not want to use your originals for that so let's see I'm going to probably use I am not going to use banana my family just walked in I'm going to probably use this washi on here let's see it'll be right here it'll look good and then I'm going to use this one the lined paper right here you can see just from a couple of these stickers it adds so much more depth to the piece and like I said, you could use these for junk journaling, you can use them for bullet journaling, you can use them for pretty much anything um, that you want that antique look. And I still have more to spare. So um, yeah, if you'd like to see another video specifically just about junk journaling, bullet journaling, or anything like that, and what my processes are, um, just let me know in the comments below and I will do a video specifically on that. Alright guys?
Hope you enjoy. These are going live Monday. They should be ready the next day after this video goes out. So hope to see you on there and enjoy.